Hello, welcome students to yet another video by Think Institute of Design. This is Aravind bringing you most important instructions you need to know before going to the exam centers for JE paper 2 session 2 exam which will be conducted on 12th April. I hope you all have already taken the printouts of your admin card. In case you have not taken the printouts, you need to download it first. You need to go to the JE main website which is shown here in the screen. The website is jemain.nta.nic.in. Here on the bottom right hand corner, you can see an area which is highlighted, which is shown JE 2023 session 2 admit card download. Here you can download the admit card and you need to take a printout of it. You need to download the admit card through this link. For that first, when you click on this link, you will be taken to a pop-up window, which tells you that you will be taken to an external website. There is nothing to worry, just click OK. After that, you will be taken to fill a form. In this form, you can see application number, date of birth, and security pin. Application number and date of birth, you just need to enter the same details you gave while you registered for the exam. And for the security pin, you can see a pin below it it will be different each time it is you are all familiar with the captcha security just like that enter that pin that is shown on your screens and click submit now this is how you download the admit card now i'll take you through the admit card format and the instructions given in it admit card will be a three page document that you will be getting and in the first page you will get all these details the photographs that you submitted your application form candidate details candidate name category all those things and below it you can see the exam center detail when you need to reach the exam center that is when you need to reach the exam center that is the reporting time which is given here as 1 pm all those details you can get here the venue of the test that is the exam center address all those things you can see in this page in the same page itself when you look below it you can see three columns the first two columns this is very important you need to fill it from home before reaching the exam center itself when you look at the first column it is in the first column you need to affix the candidate photograph that is passport size photograph which is same as that you uploaded while you applied for the exam in the second column you need to put a thumb impression of your left hand thumb don't do anything in the third column because that is for writing your signature in the presence of the invigilator don't do anything there this is the first page of the admit card on the second page, there will be basic instructions you need to read before you go to the exam center. Don't worry, we will briefly explain all those points in the coming slides. Now let's look at the third page. The third page is not for everyone. It is a declaration for candidates who don't have Aadhaar card. In this form, fill all the details that are asked here, like the candidate's name, father's name, application number, ID proof details, all those things. Make sure you fill it before you go to the exam. If you don't have Aadhaar card. Now let's move on to the important instruction which you need to know and follow. It is very crucial that you remember that you won't be allowed to enter the exam center if you are late. So make sure you reach there on reporting time itself. After the gate closing time, you can't enter the exam center. Another important thing is that you should not forget to bring printout of your admit card and ID proof details. Now you might have doubt that which all documents will be accepted as ID proof. Don't worry, I'll tell you in the next slide. Before that, you should also note that you need to have an extra copy of your passport photograph, which is same as the one you uploaded. Now, this is not the one you pasted on your admit card. Uh, this is about keeping an additional passport size photograph. You should also remember to keep an extra passport size photograph with you. This is not the one you affixed on the admit card. This is one extra passport size photograph that you need to keep with you. This should be the same passport size photograph that you uploaded while registration and also same as the one you affixed on that mid card. Now, here is the solution for the doubt you might have earlier. Which all ID proofs are valid? As you can see here, PAN card, driving license, voter's ID, passport, Aadhaar card, e-Aadhaar card, ration card and your 12th standard admit card. All these are valid ID proofs. 
any other documents that are not mentioned here will not be accepted so make sure that you bring any one of these eight id proofs mentioned here and that to the original id and you should note that you will not be allowed to enter the exam hall without an id proof as you know j paper 2 exam has a drawing section and you might be confused what all materials are allowed and what all are not and here are the lists of the items that you can bring to the exam hall you can see geometry box is allowed pencils erasers color pencils crayons transparent ballpoint pen is allowed now you might ask is watercolor allowed is acrylic paint allowed and the answer to that is no no water based colors are allowed for je paper 2 exam be it watercolor or poster color or even acrylic paints only the six items mentioned here are allowed other things for your personal needs such as water you can bring it in transparent water bottle and also if you are bringing sanitizer 50 milliliter sanitizer bottles are allowed now we have seen all the things that are permitted into the exam hall now let's take a look at what all things are not permitted to the exam hall firstly the mask you wear from home your own mask won't be permitted inside the exam center and they will be providing each student with a mask from the exam center another thing which is common for all examination is that you won't be allowed to bring any any gadgets, a digital watch, calculator and such electronic gadgets. Talking about the apparel, you should make sure that you don't wear clothing with very large button or your footwear with very thick soles. As mentioned earlier, you won't be allowed to bring watercolor, poster color or acrylic color. Now let's look at the instructions for our PWD candidates. PWD candidates, PWD candidates must bring the certificate that is given to them by the certificate that's given to them by the competent authority. If you have applied for a scribe, the scribe must bring his or her own self-declaration regarding educational qualification, passport size photograph and valid government identity proof. Now I hope all the things you can and cannot bring to the exam center is clear. If you have any doubts, comment below in this video or you can contact us in 8086111024. You can also WhatsApp us in this number if you need any assistance. Also, if this video is useful, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Now, let's briefly look at the exam pattern of JE Paper 2. JE Paper 2 exam has three parts. First part will be mathematics, which has two sections, section A and section B. In section A, you will be facing 20 multiple choice type questions and you have to attempt all the 20 questions. In section B, you will be facing 10 questions for which you won't be given options. You have to write the answer yourself. And out of those 10, you need to attempt only five. And total marks for first part, which is mathematics will be 100. The second part will be aptitude test. There will be 50 questions for aptitude test and these 50 questions will be covering all those topics like nonverbal reasoning, arc awareness, all those things will be covered in this part and the total marks will be 200. There was a slight twist in this year's session 1 of JE paper 2 exam which is that there was arithmetic type aptitude question in the second part, aptitude test part, which is not usually seen in all the previous exams, but this year's session one had arithmetic type aptitude test question also. Now let's go to the third part. For those of you who love to draw, this might be the favorite part of the exam. The third part will have two questions of which you have to attempt both the questions and the total marks for this part will be 100. In total, there will be 82 questions and total marks will be 400. If you need more details about any of these parts, you can contact us in 8086-111024 or, or leave a comment in this video. Since drawing part is a favorite for most of you, I'll give you slightly more information about the drawing part. As I said before, drawing part will have two questions and each question will be carrying same and each question will be carrying equal marks and each question will be carrying equal marks. And the important thing is the drawing part part will be in pen and paper mode while the first two parts were computer based CBT test. For the drawing part you will be provided with a drawing sheet. The drawing questions must be attempted in the space provided in the drawing sheet because no additional drawing sheet will be provided. 
Of course, for rough words, they will be providing one A4 paper. But the answering part you should only do in the drawing sheet they provided, and uh, and all candidates are and all candidates are advised to carry their own materials. You can't borrow it like in your classroom from the other students or. you can't expect them to provide you any drawing materials you should bring all the materials you need for the drawing part on your own and we have earlier mentioned which all materials are allowed and which are not again let me repeat water based colors like water colors acrylic colors and poster colors are not allowed and we had earlier mentioned that pencil colors crayons etc are allowed so remember this you should make sure that your drawings are neat and clean because it is also a criteria for the evaluator and don't take your drawing sheet and exit the drawing hall give all the things back to the invigilator including your drawing sheet rough paper all those things you should give it to the invigilator before exiting the exam hall and a very important thing you should note is that you should not write your roll number or some extra symbols on your drawing sheet this can lead to disqualification i hope the instructions are clear and you got a clear idea about all the prerequisites that you need to bring to the exam hall what to do what you can not do what you should not do and i wish you all the best for your je paper 2 exam the goal of this video was to help you and with that goal we had created a lot of videos in this channel including educational videos previous question discussions all those things also live quizzes that we conducted called the curiosity quiz you can check out all those from our youtube channel here if you have any suggestions feel free to let us know you can let us know in the comments you can contact us in 8086111024 and for more content more useful informative content like this click the subscribe button so that you will be notified when we publish new informative videos that will be helpful for you thank you for watching this is aravind from thinking institute of design signing off bye bye